I did go an extra mile by showing how I wanted to do with our downstairs toilet tiling. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. My name is Catherine. Since I started my YouTube channel in last November, I have received a lot of comments from my audience saying that they like what we've done with our full house renovation and have been chasing me for our detailed renovation plans because in my previous video, I've mentioned about a 50-pager point point document. And today, I think it is the time to talk about it. In today's video, I'll be telling you the three main things that we think is so important that has helped us significantly to get through our renovation. If you don't have the time to watch today's video, don't worry, you can have a peek of our renovation plan by downloading the file in the description box below. When downloading, you'll be asked to subscribe to my channel and this is the only thing I ask as a return. It will encourage me massively to produce better and more useful videos in the future in my channel. Okay, let's not waste time and get straight into point number one. It is the clear visualization of the rooms that we have an idea of what we want to achieve. Take our downstairs toilet as an example. As you can see on the screen, um, on this page, we literally put on everything we could think of at the time of writing this document. On the left hand side, we started with a floor plan. Um, this is an entire floor plan of the ground floor. Um, we highlighted where the downstairs toilet is. And by doing this, um, we think it is crucial because this can show to our builder where we want to put our toilet, for example. It is sharing the wall with our French door fridge, which is on the other side of this partition wall. So the builder can see, okay, there might be some pipe works that can be optimized. Um, so we think that helped um, the communication between us and the builder. And on the right hand side is literally a list of all the elements um, we think worth mentioning. For example, the door, um, instead of having a hinged, traditional hinged door, we decided to go with pocket door because it is a very um, tiny space. We didn't want the space to be eaten up by opening and closing the door. Um, and the units, we wanted to hand mirror and build some storage and we want to have a wall hand basin and a wall mounted tab. You can say that it is very basic what we have written, but indeed this document acted more than a renovation plan that we use to communicate with our builder. It is also our working note um, to note down what we have thought through. For example, we wanted to have a wall hand toilet or at least a back to wall toilet with the system unit concealed. This exercise really helped us a lot by not wasting time to think again what we have already considered. And then going down on the list, we also put shelf and how we want the shelf to be installed. Um, I think sometimes word is powerful, sometimes a picture picture um, is definitely more visualized than plain words. So I was searching online for the pictures that can represent what I want to achieve. Um, I managed to find most of them on internet. The internet is really powerful in this aspect, especially those apps such as House, Instagram and Pinterest. You can literally find anything, everything you want to achieve with your dream home. And then coming down to paint and tiles, um, we would like to paint the toilet wall, but with the splash back of the basin tiled up. Um, up until here, I think it is almost everything um, you need to talk about a downstairs toilet or any room but I did go an extra mile by showing how I wanted to do with our downstairs toilet tiling. As you can see now on the screen, I've shown how I want to tile the basing splashback. Um, it is a straight 
tiling plan. Um, in this way, it really minimizes the communication breakdown because let's face it, I can't be on site um, day by day, not even week by week. Sometimes we're busy, we can't visit the site on the Saturday. So um, the builder has to have something to rely on. And because I don't have an architect and I didn't hire a project manager as well to um, oversee our entire renovation. So that's the way to go. I need to put more work and time and effort to make sure things are lined up and there is no misunderstanding and uh, translation failure. So um, this is how we want to do with the wall tiling and also I've drawn out a plan for the floor tiling as well. You can do all of this with your PowerPoint because they have so much shapes in the PowerPoint. Um, don't underestimate it. The power of PowerPoint. Um, you don't necessarily need those very sophisticated interior designer software. It costs a lot and it takes time for you to um, learn how to use it and navigate all the functions as well. Um, in PowerPoint, it is quite easy for every one of us to get the hang of it. So explore the function in PowerPoint and you'll be surprised. Moving on to the second important point, which is partition. I think it is quite important to show how you want to partition your house. Especially in our case, we have taken down all the existing partition walls in the previous house. So take our first floor as an example. On our first floor, the walls will remain almost the same as how it was. Um, however, we've done several variations. Um, for example, in the family bathroom in here, um, because this will be a family bathroom and we wanted to have a bath and a shower in that room. So the original size of the bathroom looks a little bit tight if we want to have those two things in. Um, in that way, we have proposed let's move the walls in here to the nursery which is the bedroom next to the bathroom by 20 to 25 centimeter in this way the family bathroom looks more generous and we didn't really sacrifice a lot of the space in the nursery as well other things that are worth mentioning such as chimneys if you want to maximize your indoor space and you are not using your chimney as a heating source or as an extra channel um, you can just take them off um, but you have to let the builder know because they have to um, deal with the trash and the labor that they need to put into removing the chimney now to be honest if you ask me to read my page again I would think that it is a little bit on the naive side and it's quite basic but in the renovation everything has to be communicated so it's better to be um, over communicated than less um, so take a look, I'm not here to give you any professional advice, it's purely from my own experience and lessons learned. Okay, let's move on to the third point, which is lighting, the electricity map, which is done by my dear husband who has done a really good job. Um, after we moved into the house and our friends and families has visited this place, I think um, one of the things that people mention the most is our lighting. They like what we've done with our pendant light over the countertop and they like what we've done with our staircase light. I think what really helped us is to have a plan. Take a look at this page. Um, we have used a software. Um, I put the software name in the description box below. They have paid version and free version. Um, for us, the free version does the job so we didn't go for the paid version. In the electricity map, what we've done is really, really basic. We literally went through wall by wall and thought about um, what we wanted to put on each wall in terms of lights, socket and switches. I think these are the three main things you wanted to keep track of. For example, this is our loft. In the loft, we have our master bedroom and our walk-in closet. In the walk-in closet, we wanted to have lighting in the closet. So we have to let the builder know that please leave some cable there so the built-in bespoke furniture provider can install the light accordingly and also all the switches because you need to buy the switch in the end however how do you know how many switches you need to buy and you have to know the number so you can go back to the supplier and say I want to buy say for example a hundred of the switches can you 
give me some discount. So that's how we did our switches count. First, to have an electricity map, and second, to count one by one, room by room. I'm showing you right now how we counted our switches and socket on the screen. Um, I hope that it can give you some inspiration on how you want to manage your lighting plan. Lastly, I want to have a few words on our renovation plan. Um, you will see that I didn't share the entire document. This is not because I didn't want to, it is just because um, the pictures inside the document, um, it has copyright. But because at the time of writing the document, I didn't know that I was about to share the document one day, so I didn't um, really include all the sources of the pictures. It is purely for my personal use at the time. But now if I am to share the document, I think it is respectful and the right thing to do to give the credit to all the content creators of those pictures I made reference to. Um, it is really difficult for me to find all the sources for the pictures in the original document um, so that's why I only included several pages. However, the rest of the document you can really create by yourself um, just using the pages that I have shared. So I hope the document I shared can provide you some level of support. Alright guys, this is everything I wanted to talk about in today's video. I hope these three tips can help you or at least give you some inspiration to your own house renovation. Okay, if you like what I do about my video, please consider to subscribe to my channel and turn on that notification bell to be notified for my future uploads. Okay, I upload video every Friday at 7pm, so I'll see you guys next week. Bye bye guys and enjoy your weekend.